Hey everyone and welcome to the start of the fourth season of Pokemon Productions and my very first video of 2023. Today I'm going to be reviewing a movie that I just saw last night and something that I was completely blown away by. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2017 musical sensation The Greatest Showman. Now this movie came out quite some time ago. It came out in 2017 and to be completely honest Watching the film now makes me wish that I watched it sooner because that film is incredible. It's honestly, it's absolutely amazing. It honestly lives up to all the hype I've heard it get over the years. Um, it's basically a musical, but it's also a biography as well. It tells about the story of P.T. Barnum, a real-life showbiz entrepreneur who basically starts... A circus. He basically starts the whole concept of the circus, all those performers and animals, all that, and they turned it into a musical with Hugh Jackman as P.T. Barnum himself. And honestly, the film was incredible. The songs were fantastic, and and not to mention we had some amazing other stars in there as well, including the likes of Zac Efron and Zendaya. Now, Hugh, Zack, and Zendaya, they've all made their names in other movies. Like, Hugh Jackman was famous for playing Wolverine in the X-Men films. Zac Efron, of course, played Troy Bolton in the High School Musical trilogy. And Zendaya played MJ in the MCU Spider-Man trilogy. And this was in 2017, the same year as Spider-Man Homecoming. So it was cool that Zendaya was getting a lot of work done that year. But yeah, the movie is fantastic. It basically tells about how P.C. Barnum rose to fame, creating this circus, with all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Like, one of his, some of his performers are like, uh, like a lady that had a beard. That was actually kind of cool. Um, world's heaviest man. A guy with tattoos all over his body. And the guy's an Irish giant. <laughs> it was honestly fantastic. However... This was the mid 19th century. The film that's where the film's set and not it's not a very accepting society compared to the 2020s. For instance, so some people while plenty of people love Barnum's Circus, a lot of people have actually protested against it, calling the performers freaks. And that honestly wouldn't go well today. If I, I'm going to be honest with you, if that kind of stuff happened today, it wouldn't have gone down well. And there's also the thing about Zac Efron's character, Philip Carlyle, having a bit of a romance with Anne, one of the acrobats, and Zendaya's character. Philip is white and Anne is mixed race, at least I think so. And this was the mid-19th century, as I'm forced to point out. So, mid so interracial relationships, not exactly the in thing in that time and that's what Philip's parents were actually kind of shamed they were ashamed of him for that and that was honestly unbelievable I love how I like how the film like shows us how people how tough people had it back then like accepting who they were and that's why the song this is me is there the, 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 the song this is me shows the circus performers embracing who they are and it, it's just very cool, and I'm not, and that's not the same. This is me from Camp Rock or HSM TMTS season three. This is an entirely different song, and it's honestly fantastic. But seriously, the acting is incredible. A favorite song of mine would have to be "Rewrite the Stars," which is a duet between Efron and Zendaya. Honestly, I actually listened to the song before I saw the movie, and I can safely say. I enjoyed it even more in the context of the movie. <laughs> so if you want a fantastic musical sensation with just big names, with such big names as Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron and Zendaya, then The Greatest Showman is the film for you. I honestly wish that I'd watched it sooner and it was just a fantastic movie to watch. And I love how it actually is a biography as well. Because it because P.C. Barnum actually existed in real life. So he basically created the circus, which is, I'm guessing, is still going strong today. I think the circus 
Barnum created was called Barnum and Bailey Circus. I'm not sure about that, but but there weren't any clowns in that circus. I'm guessing they were brought in at some point in the um, some time after Barnum died. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But even if the film is a biography and it's based on real people, that is essentially that film is just is a good film overall. It's an amazing movie. I love it to bits and. It's probably my favourite non-Disney musical, which is kind of weird seeing as I watched it on Disney+, Plus. but that's because Disney own Fox now. <sighs> Pretty much own everything nowadays. Anyway, I highly recommend that you check out The Greatest Showman. If you've got Disney+, Plus, it's on there. Just check it out now. It is amazing. You'll, I think people will absolutely love it. People do love it nowadays, even when it first came out. And I think it's just going to be, a, I think it's just a great day a great movie for the family. So thank you guys for joining me on this first video of 2023 and I will see you very soon.